Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Alright, this is Don Collector here with another X-Force uh, Deadpool Strongman Build-A-Figure Wave review. This is Warpath. I uh, don't know much about him either. Um, but here's the front. Here's the side. Here's the back. If you want to pause and read this, you can. Uh, and then here's the figures in the wave. It comes with Deadpool, Black Tom, uh, Sha Shackleth, um, Maverick, uh, Sunspot, and Warpath, and Pirate Deadpool. And then it makes Strong, Man it's strong Guy. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. Here's the top with the X. Besides that, let's crack this thing open. And then here's Warpath out of the packaging. He came with uh, Strong Guy's leg, uh, is his right leg. Um, and for accessories, he comes with extra hands, gr just grabbing hands really for anything really. I don't know, we would be, and then he has fisting hands. Um, but really big, big figure, really cool. But uh, let's go over the looks. So the face looks really cool i like and then the hair is really cool it's nice and straight and then that feather native american i'm guessing native american uh, mutant and then the red uh fabric eyes with just all white eyes and then headband feather right there uh he has these cool shoulder pads that pivot or move around a little bit with these little ribbons hanging down like that nice detail same thing on the other side. And I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be like some sort of bird. Nice belt. And then gold bracelets. Really good job on the muscle detail. They still have the peg holes. It would have been it would have looked a lot better if they didn't have the peg holes. Nice detail. And then like ankle. Or not really ankle. Like shin things. Bracelet thing i don't know and it has these little ribbons hanging down like that nice red boots i like the color same thing in the back here but really cool figure don't know much about him like i said uh let's go over his articulation so his hair ahead i mean can move down that far really good uh up just like almost just a little bit and apparently these come off i just realized that okay and then just pour it in like that. Okay. Didn't know that. Um, I guess we could take them off and just show off the joints, I guess. Uh, and then you could look left and right. The hair was in the way when he was looking up. That's what I was about to say now. It's just very little head pivot. Arms can move up nine two ninety degrees. Three, well, he has a butterfly joint too, which is really cool. Really good. Uh, you get 360 rotation for the shoulder. He has a bicep swivel. And then you add double jointed elbows like that. He had, his wrists can hinge down that far, really good. And then up that far, awesome. And then he has an ab crunch. You get him to crunch forward that far. Backwards that far. He has a waist swivel. And then you get his legs to kick out that far forward, really good, almost 90 degrees, and then not even any backwards. He has a thigh cut, there we go, it's stiff. And then uh, double jointed knees, he has a boot cut there. And then ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. So this guy is really cool, I like him a lot. Um, I like the look of it, the detailing, and a bunch of other stuff with it. It's really cool. And I like the fact that he's a really bulky figure. So he feels like a little, just a little bit heavier than the, uh, any other figure. Um, and 
And yeah, I don't know much about this character actually. So I'll probably look into some of that at one at some point. I think it might have been, in, uh, I'm not sure if it was, but X-Men Future Past. I'm not sure. I think so. I feel like he was. Like in the future or something like that. I don't remember exactly. But uh, yeah, like the looks, really good articulation. I didn't actually expect him to have a butterfly joint there. So that's really cool. So that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal. It's supposed to help me out with getting Get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.